Friends, Archangel here. So, a liberation agent passed me a little information. Apparently, the latest feminist craze is free bleeding. Yep, it's exactly what you think it is. So, this gal ran the London Marathon without a tampon. Then, Karan Gandhi writes on a website, if there is one way to transcend oppression, it's to run a marathon in whatever you want. On the marathon course, sexism can be beaten, where the stigma of a woman's period is irrelevant, and we can rewrite the rules as we choose, where a woman's comfort supersedes that of the observer. I ran with my period blood dripping down my legs for sisters who do not have access to tampons, and sisters who, despite cramping and pain, hide it away and pretend like it doesn't exist." Unquote. Huh. Okay. Couple things. First off, I didn't know the purpose of marathons was to fight sexism. I guess males abuse women, and women run marathons to fight this abuse. Next, a woman's comfort supersedes that of the observer. Uh, okay. Blood running down your legs is comfortable, huh? Yeah, to heck with what others think. Right, sisters? Except that everything a woman does is for the benefit of the observer. From makeup to heels to all manner of deceitful artificial augmentation, females modify their natural appearance for the observer to attract attention and thus utility. If she can attract more attention than her competition, heels, corsets, these things are uncomfortable, and males don't force these things onto women. Chicks don them freely because they are trying to get something from others. It is self-enrichment, as always. Many females cannot even go to the Quickie Mart without putting their face on. So females willingly dress for the observer, yet now you're going to say you're oppressed into dressing or practicing hygiene for others. Uh, yeah. Next, she tries to infer some grand patriarchal conspiracy that is defied by letting her period blood run unobstructed down her leg. Huh, yeah, so how does this equate to some imaginary male oppression? Oh, males are somehow forcing females to stick all manner of cotton products in their panties or up their vaginas, because not seeing female periods somehow upholds male power. Making females hide their periods somehow feeds males evil agenda of total female eradication. Those Nazi man-apes we call human males are forcing females to catch their period blood with male-designed cotton products, and females would like to let their period run everywhere and for everyone to know about if evil males didn't make them remain closeted and hygienic about their celebration of womanhood in blood form. They would enjoy just running free with blood-soaked inner thighs. Moreover, she claims to be raising awareness for sisters who don't have tampons. Uh, really? Who doesn't have tampons? We bend over backwards to provide for females. Canada has repealed tax on feminine hygiene products to allow easier access. Females have all manner of government assistance for everything from food to housing to cell phones and fuel expenses. We allow males to go homeless all day long, but if females need tampons, oh, you're darn sure the government or white knight organizations will be there with half the South's cotton harvest in order to help her. So where exactly is she raising awareness for her tampon-deprived sisters? In some 20-member tribe in the wilds of Borneo? Then she further insinuates some big agenda for females to hide their periods despite the cramping and pain. Oh yeah? Really? Females hide their period from polite conversations, huh? Except that females are the very individuals who pull their menstruation into conversation. That's all I ever hear from females. Guys are lucky. You don't have periods. You don't cramp. You don't bloat. You don't have hormonal fluctuation, etc., etc., blah, freaking, etc. Females are forever throwing their menstruation into males' faces as a way to shame males with their male privilege of not having to bleed. Moreover, females use their periods as explanation and justification for erratic behavior on certain calendar days of the month. Oh, don't mind her schizophrenic murdering spree. It's her time of the month. So, females use their menstruation as justification to act the fool, more than usual, and play off this behavior with, Oh, it's alright, she's just PMSing. 
Female periods are forever being discussed and thrown at males as a shaming tactic to compel servitude because it invokes the victim narrative of females. Oh, we are done so wrong. We are wronged by everyone, including nature. So bow, kneel, and serve us. Yeah, well, guess what? Males cycle hormonally more than females. Furthermore, if there was some conspiracy to make females hide their pain so we don't have to know about it, then we could call it even because males are compelled to hide their pain at being used and abused, told to man up and carry on, protecting and providing for these goddesses we force into using these panty lining cotton concoctions that we oppress them with. And finally, hey, you know what, ladies? I want you to have complete equality and do whatever the heck you want. I have no dog in this fight of feminine hygiene. So bleed all over whatever the heck you like. Blood is hard to get out of clothes, but hey, since you like shopping anyway, maybe this is an effective way to encourage your clothes shopping passion. You might also encourage the economy by bleeding all over in public and providing job security to the janitors that have to clean up your coagulated expression of male rebucation. Seriously, I welcome this type of behavior in females, please. I want females to act the fool for males to see because males worship females as divine goddesses, devoid of lower bodily functions. We think that they are made from magical fairy dust and that they perspire perfume in juxtaposition to the farting, burping, B.O., farmer-blowing, and halitosis of the grunting, vulgar sex of oppressionist monkeys who emit these foul odors from their hideous bodies. Males seem to think that females are devoid of crudity or unpleasant function or noxious odor. So please, ladies, act the fool. I want males to see the real female without the cosmetics or artificialities that they hide behind. I want males to see the real odorous bleeding female. This will dethrone the divine feminine in the eyes of males, which might help to awaken them to their own disposability, serving the sex who chastises males for forcing tampons into their vaginas. These females who go so far as to run marathons, uncorked, to demonstrate against the oppression you foist upon them by draining your life supporting them. But ladies, we're thinking kind of small with this blood thing. We need to think outside the box males have put you in and oppress you with. How about we step up this anti-oppression campaign? How about you urinate down your legs wherever, whenever you want? Whether you are running a marathon or shopping in the store, letting your bladder loose without notice will surely demonstrate your opposition to the patriarchy because peeing yourself anytime, anywhere would definitely be proclamation of feminine power and would transcend male oppression. This in addition to letting your period run freely. Hey, maybe you could pee and drip blood at the same time while on the bus or at the office. Just let your vagina drip wherever and whenever it wants. And if you really want to defy the phallic empire and those evil terrorists who abuse you, then ladies, how about you move your bowels whenever you want? Come on, sisters, go on. Fill those drawers. Ladies, pooping your pants ad libitum would be the ultimate expression of freedom from male tyranny because males make you wear panties. Males make you deposit your feces into porcelain inventions called toilets. And males make you wipe your exalted tushies after dropping a duke. So by creaming your jeans anywhere and everywhere, that would show those stinking apes who's in charge. So unite, sisters. Drop your Cleveland steamer anytime, anyplace you like. In fact, why ruin and soil your jeans? Simply wear a skirt, and you can be like livestock who walk and drop fresh loads wherever they are, no matter what they are doing. This will definitely tell that mean old patriarchal world, you don't oppress me. Come on, sisters, let's do this thing. Let your bodily functions and fluids flow from every orifice, wherever, whenever you want. <laughs> My friends, stand with me. Live free.